boys and girls, it is Miss Colazzo, and today I'm going to be to you about the Statue of Liberty. I'm not sure if you boys and girls, if any of you have ever visited the Statue of Liberty, but maybe someday in our school we can visit it together and we see this amazing statue. But in the meantime, I'm going to read to you about its history, the Statue of Liberty. Here she is. She stands very tall up in the sky. The Lady Liberty stands in the New York Harbor. She is as tall as a skyscraper. She is called the Statue of Liberty. Liberty means freedom. All over the world, people dream of coming to America to find freedom. People came by ships. The trip took many days. Men and women, children, were all crowded together on one ship. They were tired, hungry, and scared, thinking they would never make it to America and see freedom. Suddenly, they saw the lady. They had reached America at last. Now they knew they were free. People cried they saw that they were free in America. They finally reached the Statue of Liberty, which means freedom. The people cried for joy. Now, let's go find out about its history. The Statue of Liberty was a present from the people of France to the people of the United States. A Frenchman made the lady. His name was Frederick Bartoli. He copied his mother's face for the statue. When he made the statue, that was the face of his mother. How beautiful she was. First, Frederick made a small statue of it. Then he made a bigger one. Then even a bigger one. The land statue was so big, it could not even fit in his workshop. Wow, amazing. It was so big, he had to make it into pieces. He made the right hand holding the torch. Then he made the head. Each finger was longer than a man. Each eye was as big as a child. Frederick needed lots of help. His helpers worked in a big room to put her all together. They took the pieces outside and put them together. He was, she was as higher as a building, much, much higher than a building. Wow, look at that. Workers took the statue apart after they put her together to see how they, she looked, and it packed it up in 214 crates. Two 114 crates. That's a lot of crates, boys and girls. That's a big statue. The ship carried it all the way to France in the water. In America, the people were building a high pedestal for the lady to stand on. But they ran out of money the work stopped. No one knew what to do. Joseph Publitzer owned a newspaper. He had an idea. Bling! Joseph said, the statue needs a home. I will print the name of everyone who gives money to help the statue get up. Thousands of people sent nickels and dimes. Children sent their pennies. 
soon there will be enough money to put her up. Now the workers could finish the huge pedestal they were going to set Lady Liberty on. A big French flag was draped over her face to show who had donated Lady Liberty. On October 28th, 1886, the people of New York had a parade to welcome Lady Liberty. The President of the United States at that time made a speech. Frederick Bartolotti, who had already donated Lady Liberty and had created her, was excited. He raised up the staircase of Lady Liberty. He was excited. He raced and raced up and up, up on the very top of her. Frederick looked down and there was a boy waving a white handkerchief. <gasps> it was the signal for Frederick to pull the rope and the flag fell. There was Lady Hip Liberty. Hip, hip, hooray! The canoes boomed, the boats whistled, and the people cheered. Hooray! The excitement never ended, and it hasn't ever since. Today, more than 125 years later, the Statue of Liberty still welcomes people all over the America, and it represents the land of the free. So, boys and girls, we here in America have a lot of freedom to do things that other people in other countries don't. So... Let's appreciate that and welcome Lady Liberty. Thank you, French people, for donating her and representing our freedom. So, boys and girls, when are we going to go over there and see Lady Liberty? We'll see when the new school year starts. Okay, boys and girls, that's all for today. If you have any questions, let me know because Ms. Calazo is here to help you. All right, guys, see you next time. We'll see what we have in my bag of tricks. See you next time.